My exhibition at the Saatchi Gallery is, is very poignant because I enjoyed the King's Road in the 60s. It was an extraordinary place. It was the absolute centre of life. There was just the King's Road. From Sloane Square to World's End, you would walk up and down and just marvel at the characters. So for me now to have an exhibition, a show at the Sartre Gallery, it's, this show has come home to rest in a very special place. And I couldn't think of a better gallery in the, in the whole of London to hold this, than to hold this show as the Sartre Gallery. So I was nine or ten years of age, living at home with my parents and uh, my four sisters and a brother, a uh, very happy household. And I quickly realised that on any really happy occasion, special occasion, celebration, birthday, Christmas, the camera would appear. So I quickly linked the camera to a joyous occasion. I was given the task of taking the film to the chemist to be developed. So I would take the film in and wait for two or three hours, sitting in the sunshine. And then the, the guy would come out and he would have this packet of prints, which took my breath away. I mean, just extraordinary that this lovely birthday party for my sister or, or uh, my father or whoever, or a special occasion, had been so beautifully captured by this camera, the home camera. So that was it. I was completely smitten at the age of 10. Uh, during the late 80s, uh, David had got in touch with me and asked me to um, meet him at the Rainbow Theatre in London. He wanted to create photographs that had not been done of him yet, and these included Colour photographs of him balancing guitars on one thing, finger, which was all about a song he was creating at the time. So I arrived at the theatre and David was already there with his people and he was being, um, he was preparing his wardrobe and I had noticed that the, the, the homeless had been using it as, 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 as a place to sleep. And literally by mid-afternoon, because this was a, a winter shoot, they were coming in the door. So David was quite incredible. He got up, he greeted, greeted them warmly and invited them to watch the shoot. And that's basically what happened. We had four, 40, 50 uh, homeless people sitting on the floor watching me photograph David and uh, what an audience! And David, David, David often spoke about that that that, that show that day. So I was actually um, working abroad on a on, on a huge shoot in Singapore, and I received a phone call um, on uh, the tenth of January, twenty sixteen, telling me that um, David had just passed away. I was in complete shock and decided to go out of the hotel and get some fresh air. It was an early morning uh, situation in Singapore and I walked towards a very special place called the English Garden. And I wandered into that garden and I, for some reason, I saw a swan on uh, a patch of muddy looking water. And I just thought I'd take that picture because it just seemed symbolic for some reason. That photograph that I took is one of my favorite photographs I've ever taken. It's been an absolute privilege to have this show of mostly unseen photographs that I took of David Bowie and his legacy lives on through this show.